Hi, this is Free, your couponing diva, and today I wanted to show you guys how I am organizing my coupons now. I'm using what's called the Clipless Couponing System, and this system will take you roughly maybe 15 minutes tops each and every week to uh, organize your coupons for the week. And there are a couple of things that you will need uh, for this system. Uh, these, is, these items are very, very easy to get. You probably already have most of these items already in your home. And if you don't, uh, they're relatively easy to uh, get and very inexpensive to buy. And so the first thing you're going to need is a permanent marker. You're going to need a manila folder. And you will need a hanging file folder. Now as you can see on this hanging file folder, I have uh, week 16 on here. And I will go into detail about that uh, a little bit later. And then also you're going to need uh, this calendar. And again, I will go into this um, a little bit later and show you how the calendar and the week 16 and all that will tie in together. And then what you're going to do each and every Sunday when you get your soup, your uh, soup, your Sunday paper is you're going to uh, get all of your coupon inserts out. And this particular week, uh, I believe we had three inserts. We had uh, the Red Plum. We had uh, a Smart Source. We actually had two different Smart Sources for this particular week. And so once you have all of your um, inserts paired together, so all your Red Plums together, all the matching Smart Sources together, um, once you have everything all together, um, what you're going to do is you're just going to take your uh, coupons and you're going to match them up. And so you're just going to take them apart and then you're just going to do like this. You're just going to match them all up. So these are all matches. And then you're just going to do this until uh, you've, you know, done all of your coupon inserts uh, this way. I'm not going to go into detail to show you, you know, me matching up all the coupon inserts. I think you kind of get the picture with that. So once you have that done, now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your, your marker and on the front of your insert, you're going to write on the front of the insert the red plum, which that's what this insert is, red plum, and then whatever uh, week this was. And so this was week 413. And if you're behind or, you know, you're don't really remember what week that insert came from. All you have to do is just look on the spine. And I know you can't see this, but look on the spine of your uh, inserts and it will tell you what week uh, that paper, uh, you know, is from. And it will tell you, you know, that date. You don't have the date. And then all you have to do is just write on the front, uh, Red Plum 413. And really before I write on my papers, what I like to do is to just look on the inside of the paper just so I can make sure that I'm writing on, you know, the part that doesn't really matter. So whatever this ad is, I don't really care. I don't want to write on the coupon because if I needed this, when I clip it, I'm going to clip off what I've written on there. And I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that I always know what this insert, uh, what week the insert was for. Also, when I write um, on the insert, I always put week, whatever week um, that this insert is going to be. And that's where... Uh, the week 16 on this uh, hanging file folder comes in. And so what I've done is I've made a calendar and it has every month of the year on here and so it has numbers on the side. One, two, and it goes from one to 27. And the reason why one to 27 is after 27 weeks, you'll just, you know, recycle. You'll go back to one. And usually after 27 weeks, the coupon inserts are pretty much all the coupons in that insert have pretty much have expired. So all you have to do is just take that insert out of your folder and just throw it away. And you can do whatever it is that you want to do with those inserts. You can, you know, um, recycle them or you can, you know, clip them if you so choose to send those coupons to uh, the military uh, if you would like to. Because you can definitely do that. Send your um, expired coupons uh, to families that are... Uh, in the military that are overseas, they definitely can use those uh, inserts uh, that have expired. So they're lucky with that. They can use expired coupons. And so you just look on the calendar for whatever week it is. And so I said 413. So we just look for 413. And so that's week 16. And so then you just write week 16 on the
on the front of the insert under, you know, the date 413. And when uh, I post a deal on the site, so if I said uh, there's a dollar coupon in the Red Plum uh, insert for 413, all you have to do is look at the calendar, see what week it is, go right to that week and pull out your uh, inserts um, for that particular week. And so this system makes it really, really easy. So you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, cleaning out of cleaning out your uh, coupons every single month because all you have to do is just follow this system. When you get back to week one, you know all I have to do is just take all those inserts from week one and throw them away. Then when you get to week two, throw them away and so forth and so on. So this system makes it all so easy for you. All you have to do is just match your coupon inserts together and then just right on the front, you know, whatever week that insert is for and then just file them away and you're done for the week. You don't have to think about, you know, organizing those coupons anymore. So all you have to do then is just make your list that you're going to use for the week for your shopping trip. Find those coupons, clip them out. They're already matched together so you can clip as many as you need. If you need two, they're together. You just clip two. You need four. However many papers it is that you have, you can clip them all together instead of clipping one coupon one at a time. They're all matched up together for you, which is really, really nice. And uh, I hope that the clipless uh, coupon organization system works for you guys. It definitely uh, works for me and it saved me so much time when it comes to organizing my coupons. I'd rather be doing something else on a Sunday instead of organizing coupons all day. And so now I have time really to now to go out and go be, you know, with my family. I get up first thing in the morning, I have my cup of coffee, I organize my coupons. 15, 20 minutes later, me and my family can go off to go do other things that we want to do, you know, for that day. And so, I hope that this helps you. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them below for me, and I will definitely be sure to answer those questions for you. Until next time, talk to you later.